Hello and welcome. Uh, pause the video, give the problem a shot, and when you're ready, press play and we'll solve it together. All right, let's read it. Uh, it says, uh, Fred's teacher gave the class the quadratic function f of x equals 4x squared plus 16x plus 9. State two different methods Fred could use to solve the equation f of x equals 0. Now, first of all, if you remember, f of x is the height. It's the output. And they want to know when the height or the output is 0. That's what we're looking for. So in general, two methods you can always use. You can solve it algebraically or graphically. If you want to be more specific, you could say you could find the roots of the equation. Or algebraically, you can complete the square, use the quadratic formula or something to solve it. We'll use the algebraic technique to solve um, when the height of this graph is equal to zero. Specifically, we will use the quadratic formula. Now this formula is given to you on your reference sheet on the exam, uh, but essentially the formula is that x will always equal negative b plus or minus the square root beautifully of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. And in our case, a is 4 because of the coefficient of x squared, b is 16, the coefficient of x, and c is the constant 9. We plug these numbers in, and x equals negative 16 plus or minus the square root of b squared, 256, minus 4 times a times c, which is 16 times 9, which is, I believe, 144. I'm feeling tired. I'm not afraid to admit that, so let me just calculate it here. 4 times 4, which is a, times c. Oh, good, 144. And then all of that divided by 2 times a, which is 8. OK, so let's keep going. So we have x is equal to negative 16. And then we have 266 minus 144, which I believe is 112. Let's just check. 256 minus 144 is 112. So negative 16 plus or minus the square root of 112 over 8. And let's just uh, reduce this. What is the square root of, of 112 equal to? Can we, are there any perfect squares in 112? Might use some prime factorization to figure that out. So I know that 2 times 56 is 112. Let's break this down. We have 2 times 20, uh, no, boy, 28. That's 2 times 14, and that's 2 times 7. So that means that 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 7 is 112. But that's really just 4 times 4, or 16 times 7. So that tells me the square root of 112 is the square root of 16 times the square root of 7. And the square root of 16 is just 4. That means the square root of 16, of negative 16, plus or minus 4 times radical 7 divided by 8 is equal to x. Now I'm going to kind of split this up because we've got negative 16 plus 4 radical 7 over 8. And then we've got negative 16 minus 4 radical 7 over 8. Now we divide by 8, right? Negative 16 divided by 8 is negative 2. 4 over 8 is a half, right? times radical 7. And here we have negative 2 minus 1 half times radical 7. And we'll use the calculator to figure out approximations, I believe. Let's go back up to the nearest tenth. OK. So let's just get the calculator in, involved here. Clear this off. So you have negative 2 plus 0.5 times the square root of 7, which I prefer to write as 7 to the 0.5 power. 0.5 power is square root. And then what's the nearest tenth? So that's this first decimal here. This is negative 0.67. I use this 7 here in the hundreds place to determine how I'm rounding. If it's 5 or above, I round the tenth up. So it's negative 0.7. Negative 0 0.7 equals x. In the other case, we're just adding, uh, subtracting. So, excuse me. We have negative 2 minus 0.5 times 7 to the 1 half power. And this time we get negative 3.3 because this 2 in the hundredth place, I, I keep, I leave my tenth value where it is. So I have x could equal negative 3.3. Right? Yep. So those are our two uh, roots to the nearest tenth. Thanks.